Um, many people think the, that immigration, especially from Muslim countries, bring bad cultural ideas that conflict with American values. Um, okay, um, they do, you know, they do bring bad ideas. So did, so did Jews who came to the United States in the late 19th century. They brought all kinds of stupid ideas. So did every primitive culture that ever sent. And we are strong culture. We will overcome that. We will teach those people to abandon that. Now, if they do something that violates rights, like force their daughter to get married at 12, put them in jail. If they uh, perform genital, female genital mutilation, put them in jail. If they do honor killings, put them in jail and throw away the keys. So anything they do that violates individual rights, prosecute them to the full extent of the law, and at the same time, as Americans, be proud of our culture. Call them on the misogyny. Call them on the authoritarianism. By the way, today in America, I see much more authoritarianism among American-born than among immigrants. Immigrants come here because it's a freer country. Even Muslim immigrants come here because they're escaping the authoritarianism in their own countries often, often because they're escaping Sharia. Now, if somebody... And this is why screening, I do think, we're at war with, you know, Islamic totalitarianism, with, with Islamism, with jihadism. If somebody is sympathetic to those views, don't allow them in. I am even willing to concede a complete Muslim ban, not a pathetic, ridiculous, dishonest Muslim, uh, you know, ban that Obama did where he, he banned all the countries where we've never had terrorists come from. And the countries where we had to have terrorists come from, he didn't ban. And, he, and it wasn't a Muslim ban, it was a hodgepodge of a meaningless ban. Okay, let's do a complete Muslim ban until we win the war. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to do that, I'm willing to accept that. Just like we probably had a ban on Germans during World War II. Not just on Nazis, on Germans. So I have a ban on all Muslims until we win the war. But then, win the war. But no, I, I mean, I, I believe Muslims can, can uh, abandon their Islam because of living in America. I think Muslims can become secularized because they live in America. Th one of the reasons they leave and come to America, particularly if we expect it of them, is because they want something different. You know, I, I remember uh, hearing an interview in England with a, uh, with a guy who was saying he doesn't want any more um, immigrants from Egypt to come. He doesn't want any more immigrants from Egypt. Too many immigrants from Egypt are coming in, into the country. And the interviewer said, but wait a minute, you're an immigrant from Egypt. Uh, 20, 20 years earlier, he had immigrated from Egypt. He said, yeah, I came here because I didn't want to live with them. <laughs> I came here because I wanted a better life. Well, why do you assume the new ones are coming in don't want a better life? So... You know, but look, while we're at war, I'm willing to accept a ban on all potential enemy combatants. 